I was always interested in the world around me in terms of its built form. I'm also a little nosy, so I'm interested in how people live in the world that we have. I've always been interested when walking down the street at looking in windows and sort of seeing how people live within the house, but also how a house is on the street. The world is becoming more and more urbanized. Cities are becoming denser and more diverse. So you're getting more and more people in closer and closer proximity. To me, that's super exciting. When a city starts to get more dense, that changes the possibilities for how people interact, but also reduces the time that people spend getting from one place to another. So it opens up possibilities for time. We were here for about six years, and those were really formative years for learning how to teach. And you're in a container of many disciplines, of the three disciplines, and you also have overlap with the rest of Harvard University. And I think that that's something that is incredibly valuable. I think it was valuable when I was here 15 years ago. I think today there is more acknowledgement that design affects our lives. Think how beautiful the phone in your pocket is. 20 years ago, computers were really pretty ugly beige boxes. The transformation in our lives from those beige boxes to these incredibly sleek, beautifully designed objects, I think is just part of our world where we now accept that design is something that affects all of us and that we all want. I'm entering this role at a point where design is, I think, valorized more in a, in a general public way. I think there's a recognition that these overlaps among the disciplines and the urgencies of today's questions that tie into design, which range from resiliency to the economics of housing, which affects materials, affects spatial design, affects, again, property development. All of those questions that are urgent today in the world, questions of economy, questions of environment, questions of politics, questions of social value, have design repercussions. And I think that for them to be best addressed, they have to be addressed across the scales of the three departments through engineering and, and relationships to design and technology through the relationships with the law school and the Kennedy School for politics and policy, through relations with FAS in terms of understanding culture and what it means for cultures to come together. To me, that's really exciting. I'm coming from a one department school and it's a really nice thing to be able to think about those connections being a big part of this next phase of my life and, and I think of design more generally.